Hey everybody, and welcome back to Morrowind. We are over here near Narmok. Um, why are we here? Well, turns out when we raided this place over here, the, the stupid thing is in the way and I can't get to. Yeah, Ilunibi. This was something that we raided a long time ago, actually. Um, turns out I missed something in here, so we're gonna go back and grab it. Or them. Now, we did a bunch of artifact hunting last time. Get out of here. Bunch of artifact hunting last time. So what I think I want to do is not do another whole episode devoted to that, but maybe start off each episode from now on getting an artifact and then going on with the quest from there. So we will be um, doing more of the main quest this time probably raiding one or both of these <clears throat> but to start it off we're gonna go ahead and go get an artifact and I'm starting this with an artifact that I actually want versus one that I'm going to be giving to the museum as I discussed last time hello What do you got for me? Daedric Daikatana. That's a very rare drop, actually. We found one a little while ago. A couple episodes ago? Darned if I remember where we got it, though. I don't think it was a drop. I think it was in a... place. Stop that. <coughs> oh, reflected that one. Anyways, it shouldn't take too long to get to get through here. I must have missed this last time. I know it's near the very end though. Right near the very end, in fact. <laughs> good hit, good hit. And I am actually remembering one more thing that I missed that's a really easy thing to get, so we might go grab that as well. That not being something that I actually need, just some. Ooh, Golden Saint. Just something that I missed and should go back and get. These glass swords are a really good source of income, especially since they weigh so little. Okay, Souls Rattle, I don't remember if that's where it is. Anyways, I hope the last one was uh, cool for people to see, you know, where you can go to get some cool stuff fairly early on in the game. Yeah, I'll take that. May as well. Okay, I think this is where it is. Yeah, it's right over here. I can see it, actually. I was just being careless and missed the Fists of Randagolf. Now, these are actually the best um, gauntlets in the game. It's armor rating of 186 right now, this is 165. And pretty decent enchantments as well. Fortify Strength and Fortify Agility. Not too shabby at all. Let's see if I can remember which... Yeah. Now, Wraith Guard we are going to need for the main quest though, so I'm going to be holding that in my inventory for now. But, uh, oh, I missed these too. Man, what, did I, what was I doing down here? Because I do specifically remember raiding this dungeon. You can tell some stuff's missing from here, so... 
I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Alright, we got quite a bit of weight left, in fact. So, let's go head over to the other thing I missed, and then we will uh, go on with the main quest. I'm listening. Okay, so we're here in uh, Telfair. Fire? Fur? I don't know. This place over here. We've uh, been here before. This is actually a really, really good place to get stuff. In fact, what we're looking for is in here, but uh, if Outland. you recall... What do you want? Shh. If you recall, we have come here before, and there's a room up here somewhere. It might be on a different floor, but it has a, like a grand soul gem that's got a soul in it, and Go ahead. other pretty good stuff. So I would recommend coming here. But what we're actually after is in here. And we're going to want to unlock this. It's also, you'll notice, it's very accessible because nobody's even watching me from here. So, it's a very nice thing. Okay. There we go. And here we have the Curious of the Savior's Hide. This is light armor, so I'm not going to be equipping it, but it has a really, really good effect, which is resist magic 60%, which is kind of a lot. Now, this item made its return in uh, Oblivion, and I believe in Skyrim. I haven't played Skyrim enough to know, but I think I've heard that it has. This was an item that you got from a quest from uh, Hircine, the Daedric god in Oblivion. And we'll be meeting Hircine eventually, because he is up here. It's part of the Blood Moon quest. Yeah, down here is where there are some soul gems with enchantments on them, some other good stuff. Limeware stuff. You can sell for a lot of money, so... I think you can take a ship here, so this would be a good place to go as you're starting out as well. Anyways. Very, very good light armor, if that's what you're into. I think it's got a pretty good uh, armor rating as well. 34 is pretty high. But the resist magic 60% is really, really good, especially if you start as like a Breton. You'll have 50% resist magic anyway, so then you'll have, well, 100% resist magic, which is uh, not too shabby to say the least. So I'm going to go unload my inventory, and then we will continue on with the main quest. See you guys in a sec. Okay, we are back. So this is the ghost gate. Um, I think we've walked by this before, and I've sort of described it. Essentially, this is a magical wall of sorts that circles the entirety of Red Mountain, basically keeping Dagoth Ur's horrible beasties inside. Now, you can come and go in this thing freely. No one's keeping you out, but uh, it tends to be pretty hostile in here. Apparently that doesn't want to close. Oh well. Whatever. <coughs> Ouch. Stop that. So, you'll see... <laughs> it's not exactly a very inviting place. Lots of blighted creatures in here. Lots of ash vampires and the like. Not a pleasant place to be at all. And yes, sandstorms. So, we're going to go hit this one first. See how long that takes us, and then maybe hit the next one. There is some fairly good stuff to be found within here. Yeah, let's try it. There are actually mines in here, like the Empire has mines here for some reason. Apparently they thought that would be a good idea. But I think it might be abandoned? I'm not sure. This one's obviously a glass mine, as you can see. Now I mentioned it before, but there's no crafting system in Morrowind, so taking the raw glass isn't really that big of a deal. 
In fact, I see no reason to keep going through here, so let's just go ahead and keep going deeper, apparently. Well, we'll turn around in a sec. Lots of Nyx hounds to kill. Okay, the exit must be this way. Don't worry, I'll find it. There it is. I'd recommend just keeping your weapon out as long as you're in here because you're gonna need it. Now this isn't an area I've spent a great deal of time in, mostly... Whoa, hello. Well, for obvious reasons. So I'm not as familiar with it as I could be. I remember coming here artifact hunting when I was playing through the game not as uh, not doing the story but just going and f seeing what cool stuff I could find. Okay, so if I turn, you can sort of see in the top left corner there are some ruins there. We're gonna have to get up there. This tends to be a slightly difficult thing to do. Let's go kill this Ogrim. We haven't seen one of them in a while. Now, probably the easiest way to do this is just to levitate over the mountain. In fact, you're going to find that you pretty much have to do this when you try to go into the volcano to kill Dagoth Ur. Alright, we're levitating. This is where those um, Boots of the Apostle might come in handy. That I showed you how to get last episode. So slow. I suppose what would be the point if this place was actually easy to get around, though? Let's run a little bit of this distance now. And back to levitating. I think we might be looking at a path over here. See, we could have gone all the way around, but that would have taken a while. Not that this isn't taking a while, but you get, you get my drift. All right. These guys are so gross. So lame. Ha ha ha. Yep, I regret saying that too. Oops. All right, in we go. Dwemer Training Academy. Everything is locked. Most of these uh, areas in here, if I recall, are like multi-tiered. The Blight. It's only worth 450. That's obviously a, a mod weapon. Ooh, we got Golden Saints. 
I think that's an ebony spear. Yep. Ebony spears are quite good. Okay, so it's not that way. Oh, that looks like a boss. You see a lot of these boss guys. Oh, and he has a flame at your neck. Something's doing a ton of damage to me. Nevertheless... Oh, that's a unique item. Very nice. That's actually not what we're here for, though. Hmm, okay. I am more than okay with this. I know there's the Belt of Heartfire and the Amulet of Heartfire. I guess they must be for a quest. A different quest. Alright, we've got some Dwemer weapons. Some Dwemer armor. Dwemer coins are always a good source of money. That's the exit, yeah? Okay. So we're going this way. So this is Keening. Pretty good stats on this thing. Well, pretty good enchantments, not so much good stats. Let's take it. Now the thing you have to know about this weapon, let's rest real quick, is that if you are not wearing Wraith Guard when you equip it, you will die. Yes. So don't do that. Uh, if you're planning on equipping it, make sure you have Wraith Guard on. Or just, I guess, a ton of health regeneration. Constant effect. But, um... Yeah. You're not supposed to be able to equip it without Wraith Guard. So then, let's go ahead and make our way over to Viminal, I guess. Which, as it just so happens, is on the other side of Red Mountain. Hopefully we can make it around. No. I'm so sick of you guys. Well, hopefully he's stuck on a tree. wonder if it would be faster to just levitate over Red Mountain. Probably not. We'll try running around to the other side. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with this area. Obviously I've beaten the game before, but... I try to stay out of this area as much as I can. For obvious reasons. Stop. Seriously. Needless to say, when I came in here, having not played through any of the story, this place scared the crap out of me. That was, like I said, that was back in the day when uh, my first, well, very long time playing this game, I didn't even go anywhere with the story. I didn't even bother with it. I just went around, hunted rare artifacts, and raided dungeons and such. Which, as it turns out, is actually a very, very fun way to play this game. Which I guess is part of the problem I had with Skyrim and Oblivion. It's not really fun to do that because everything levels with you. You can fix that in Oblivion with mods, but not so much in Skyrim yet. 
pretty cool looking place, by the way. It's got some statues and and such. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I think this place is a little bit... What the? Oh. It's one of these guys. Oh, he hit me with it. Dang it. Remember those guys cast Degrade Armor and Degrade Weapon, which is fairly obnoxious. Hello. I'm honestly at the point where I like finding these guys because you can get weapons from them. Like an Ebony Longsword. Somehow he has not noticed me. I always check these guys for amulets. And he does have one. You can tell when they cast that little enchantment on themselves as they're running at you. Ooh, exquisite belt. That they have one of the amulets. It's just a, a unique item that you can only find on the sixth house guys. Sixth house amulet. I mean it's not good, it drains your personality, but it's cool as a unique collectible. Daedric Wakazashi. Hmm. I'm getting fairly overweight here. And I guess it's time for a level up. Too bad there are enemies nearby. It's okay, we'll just go rest outside in the postal storm. Nope, there are enemies here. Oh, there he is. There we go. Alright, let's finish leveling strength. Speed. Endurance. Okay, so strength is now at the max, meaning we can carry up to 500 weight. However, if we equip the Fist of Randigulf, we can carry up to 600. So I am all for that. How did you get here? Okay. Anyways, if you pay attention to these things, you may notice that we've sort of got the components for a giant robot, don't we? Oop, another boss. Amulet of Heart Rhyme. Another unique item, obviously. Don't remember that one, though, so... Ooh. And here we got plans for building a Dwemer Centurion. That's a very rare thing. Thank you. That's a unique item. Might as well take the Master's Alchemy Equipment, even though I have no plans to ever actually use it. Mmm, Corpus Meat, my favorite. Glass, Ebony. Very good stuff in here. Oh, this isn't even the right place. We were going up there. I knew something seemed wrong. Like I said, you find some oh crap, these guys. I hate these guys. These guys are uh, 
Very uncool. They're sort of the highest level of uh, House Dagoth follower that you can find. The ones that aren't unique enemies, anyway. I think we met one of them before in one of those strongholds. I could be wrong. Alright, well that's this cleared out. Turns out I actually have a lot of stuff to empty out of my inventory, so I'm gonna go do that and we'll come back here, I guess. Okay, we're back. Let's make our way over there. It was really funny, I didn't mention this, but when I first played this game, I just assumed that this was something that would be late game, like coming in here, which obviously it is. I didn't realize you could just get in the gate, so I actually levitated over and cut in, and I thought I was all cool for doing that. I told my buddy who got me into the game, he was like, yeah, you can just walk through the gate. And I was somewhat disappointed, but it's all good. Might as well hit the Daedric Ruins while we're here. It's bound to be something good in here. There's like a person. Hi there. Is that steel armor? A crusader, huh? Well, good luck with that. I'm gonna go and kill some people. <laughs> this looks safe. Up, oh, you saw me. Heh, <laughs> reflected the magic. Something tells me they're gonna be hostile. Yeah, I thought so. There must be some pretty strong people to make this their base, though. <laughs> you gotta love reflecting poison back onto someone. Alright, you get out of here. Glove of Sanguine Safekeeping. Okay, that's a unique item. So this is part of a quest. I think it's for the uh, Imperial Cult. I think. That's where you have to find all the Sanguine items. Hi. Well, might as well take all their stuff now. I suppose they're not really going to be needing it anymore. You can't take it with you. Steel Spear of Impaling Thrust. That seems like it's probably uncommon. Oh, that's trapped. Peridot Dagger? That's one of the weapons from the mod. weird looking. I prefer this. Ooh, 36 sermons of Vivek. Thank you. Don't see... oh, there is something up there. See, usually when you find a levitation potion, it means that there's something around worth levitating up to. Not always. In this case, there is something up there, but it's not something worth levitating up to. Okay, I don't care about the, the stuff, really, but I do want to get the Dremora to come after me, so... Hello. I'll just reflect his fire back onto him, that works. Ooh, red blade. That looks cool. Here, you can have a second heart. Interesting, that's a reskin of, uh... or a slight model change of Keening. You can tell. It's just been lengthened. 
That's pretty cool looking. But once again, I prefer this. Alright, let's make sure I didn't miss anything. A lot of times the uh, sanguine items seem to come in pairs, so just want to make sure. Nope. Okay, and we already got the one from him, so I guess we're good. That's pretty cool looking, I like that. Double check our map, haven't missed anything. Alright, let's do it. So, so far, every single place we've gone in here has had a unique item. Not bad. I killed him for you. You're welcome. And we're almost to Viminal. You know, I could just outrun this guy, but... That might cause problems later if I try to rest or something. Um. According to the map, it's this way, but I think we want to take the high road. Tell you what, I'll take the high road, you take the low road, and I'll get to Viminal before you. Yeah, I'm guessing this is the right way. This is a rickety old bridge. But it seems like it should be this way. Alright, let's do some parkour here. Mirror's Edge, Elder Scrolls Edition. the heck is it? Oh, there's a cavern there. I suppose Viminal could be a cavern, a uh, cavern, not a ruin. Kogarun. Wait a second. Kogarun is um this thing, the uh the stronghold. I forgot that it actually has an exit inside Red Mountain. I think we might have already come in here, though. In fact, I think we killed a boss here a while back. And he had a sanguine item. Oh, let's just check the map. Yeah, we've been here. Yeah, I think that there was a dude in here who had a sanguine item. I totally forgot about that, but it does, it exits inside of uh, Red Mountain. Interesting. Doesn't really help me, though. There it is. Hurrah! That was awesome. It was awesome, and you know it. Uh -huh. No, nope, not quite. I'm not seeing an entrance though. Nope, there it is. Okay. So we're looking for Sunder, I believe. Oh, that guy's actually unique. It says Dagoth something. Dagoth Nilor. Not that it matters.
Ooh, ebony arrows. I've never, um... Quite honestly, I never really stop using iron arrows. They're just so easy to find and so... Oh, crap. No, 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 no. You can die. I can't go for that. No can do. Hello. Now, fortunately, because they are using these 6th house amulets, a lot of the times you'll get a pretty big opportunity to kill them before they actually start attacking. So keep that in mind. More Dwemer stuff. Hate those stupid Bonewalker guys. If there was a multiplayer component, like, the most annoying thing to do would be to summon those and have them attack your friends. Oh, that would be horrible. Whoa! Hi. Might as well take the ravings of a madman there. Okay. The Hall of Torque. Oh, hi. <laughs> Crap. No. Nope. Stop. It's a very, very strong poison spell, by the way. Seven points per second. That's just how those guys roll. But very, very unpleasant if you are low level. <laughs> Look, another one. What are the odds? Weapon I've never seen before, and now I find two of them in the same play session. Clearly, it's a sign. You don't scare. What did he just cast on me? Oh, well. There we go. Amulet of Hearth Heal. Heart Heal. There's Sunder. That's what we needed. Don't think we missed anything. All right, so we got the uh, the artifacts we need. So now, really, all we have left to do is go and kill Dagoth Ur. Unfortunately, that is going to have to wait for another time. Ooh, Grandmasters, Calcinator. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Next time, we will start off once again with some artifact hunting. And then, we will go and finish the main quest of Morrowind. No fear, however, because we are not anywhere close to done with this playthrough. I still have two expansions to go through, as well as um, some additional quest lines. So, Hey, you want to hit one more dungeon? Let's do it. Assuming there is actually a dungeon over here. Let's just check it real quick. And if there is, we'll hit it. And if not, we'll call it quits.
Uh, I just want to get up there. Come on. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a thing. Alright, cool. We'll do one more dungeon, and then we will uh, call it quits. So far we are 3 for 3 or 4 for 4 with uh, unique items in our dungeons, so hopefully this one will be no exception. Is that a Dwemer ghost? Yep. I'll go ahead and remove the trap. Hey. Not really any reason to do so, but whatever. Alright, come on, we gotta have a unique item in here. suppose if you didn't already have Dwemer armor at this point, or something better... What did that do? Eh, poison. Not a big deal. Anyways, if you didn't already have Dwemer armor at this point, I guess this would be kind of a happy moment coming in here. Except for, you know, the whole part about the place being hostile enough to kill you and that sort of thing. I have a feeling this poison is going to last for a while. Hi. I guess we have to do this now, don't we? <laughs> See, get it? It's like he's farting. Uh, it's like I'm in fifth grade. So great. Hmm. I'm not really seeing anything else here. Well, no unique artifact here, but that's alright. I'm okay with that. We did uh, pretty well this time. So, I'm going to call it quits here, and I will see you guys in the next episode, where we will hopefully be finishing the main quest of Morrowind. So, uh, look forward to it. Thanks for watching.